So it is that sort of community that is going to be rewarded with NFTs, with cryptocurrencies, for instance. That is what guys like Lavin and, and Kashif, they were uh, telling all, all uh, just before me. So right now, it is heavily company focused or, or uh, it is held by corporates. Like Google owns everything, right? Okay, imagine this scenario. So the moment um, tomorrow Google gets up and says, sorry guys, we lost your uh, data storage in Colombia. It, it bursted off. What happens? We lose all our data, right? We, we can't do anything about it. I mean, how many times we have seen Instagram going down, WhatsApp going down. People go crazy, right? Hey, WhatsApp is not working. Uh, go, uh, Instagram was not working for the last 30 minutes. Imagine the same that is happening to a Google uh, Drive. Nowadays, people, uh, I mean, back in olden days, we used to have uh, floppy disks. And, and then we started with CDs, DVDs, pen drives, and now hard disks. And now if you ask, I guess 70 or more than 70% of, of the people who are sitting here are comfortably storing their data on cloud. Either Google Cloud, Microsoft Cloud, or Amazon Cloud. And they are pretty happy and safe feeling about it. But it is actually not safe. And that is why we need decentralization, and that is why we need this Web3 space, right? And then that is why there are so many builders, so many builders like myself, like, like uh, so many other founders. Like, let's look at Polygon, an amazing team that came out of India, which is actually dictating terms in the global crypto scenario. So where do we buy these NFTs? So, okay, it's a form of an investment. Uh, you say that it's, it could be the gold, it could be the land, it could be the unique property. Where should I buy those NFTs? You can go check it out on OpenSea, which is one of the largest NFT marketplaces. Magic Eden, it's, it's on Solano. So there are so many different chains. Ethereum is a blockchain. Solano is a blockchain. Polygon is a chain. So every single chain owns a marketplace or has its own NFT market share. So, okay, I buy an NFT. What is the use of it? That, that becomes the obvious question, right? So let's uh, go back to the question of the cartoon picture. People were referring to bored apes. One of my favorite NFT collections is cartoon pictures getting sold for half a million dollars or one million dollars, right? It, it is a cartoon picture, it is a monkey picture, which everybody knows, but you should understand the, the potential or the basics behind that. They created a community. They, they created, it is one of the earliest uh, NFTs. It's one of the first, uh, first and foremost released NFTs, including CryptoPunks and Bored Apes, right? So it's, it's like when the whole internet era started, uh, who started coding first? which was the first primitive programming language, right? People were using C, C++, even today. I could see people building C sharp, they are building games even today. But that is one of the primitive languages, right? That even, even before C, there were a few programming languages that, that uh, we were coding. So what it provides? It provides exclusivity. So why is uh, Justin Bieber going out and buying a board apes? and not Amitabh Bachchan's NFT, right? It is the value. I mean, why do people choose a Rolex watch over a simple watch? That could answer your question, right? It's, it's all about the exclusivity. It's about the brand, right? I mean, why do people go for BMW when, uh, when, when uh, Hyundai's and Honda's are, are here in this road, which is also doing the same job, right? But we prefer to have brands. And that's the sort of the brand image is getting tagged along with those bore apes, with those monkey profile pictures. And that is what people are trying to emulate. They're trying to get over the hype of creating these NFTs. But a lot of NFTs that are created in the Indian ecosystem is still struggling to keep up the pace because they are not providing any utilities to that. What that board ape is providing is IP, intellectual property. You can own a board ape's restaurant. Uh, you can have a board ape's uh, t-shirts, merchandises, 
or you can meet Justin Bieber. I mean, why should Justin Bieber goes out and buys NFTs, that NFTs? He could potentially meet 50 other Justin Biebers in, in, in a meeting hall, right? So they get so many business deals in that hall. That is why he prefers to invest on a board apes and not on, on something that is coming up. So you should potentially understand why people are buying that and what are they buying for. Just a couple of days back, Tiffany and Co, I'm not sure how many of you know that, they are one of the famous jewelry makers. Uh, they, are, they are pretty much a global company. They are launching an NFT. And what are they going to do? They are going to do an 18 carat pendant with the same monkey picture on it. And they are so, uh, selling it for $50,000. Why do they do that? They provide utilities. With that Tiffany & Co pendant, you can visit any Tiffany & Co stores across the globe and you can get discounts. You can, you can have lifetime membership that provides so many other utilities to that. I mean, imagine, imagine an NFR for a meeting. Wouldn't you buy that? I mean, uh, so many people in this part of the world is going crazy when, when Dhoni comes into the stadium. So if you get a chance to meet him exclusively just because you own an NFT, wouldn't you do that? That is one of the simplest use cases that I am telling. But there could be so many utilities uh, that, that he could provide. He could send uh, a stump or his T-shirt from Sarja Cup, from Asia Cup, 2018 or 2017, or uh, he could uh, give his biography. Uh, th there, there was a famous movie uh, that got released in, in Tamil Nadu recently. It's called Vikram. Uh, Fahad Fasil, Kamal Hassan acted in that. They released some NFTs. One of those utilities where you actually get an acting opportunity to act alongside Kamal Hassan in his next movie. Now, how does that sound? He is one of the well-known faces, if not the best. He is one of the well-known faces in the Indian cinema industry and the holders of his NFTs will be interviewed, will be called for uh, auction, and, and then they get a chance to act alongside him, even if it is a small scene, imagine this. So these are the sort, sorts of utilities that NFTs could provide, and, and still we are at a very early stage. And there are Adidas NFTs, I own a couple of them. Uh, they could airdrop, let's say. I, I could go to any Adidas show, showroom across the globe and get a shoe that, that is of discounted 70% or 60%. Now, how does that look for me? So it gives exclusivity So it gives that exclusivity to, uh, to people who hold that NFTs, right? So, yeah, um, countries like Germany, they, they have adapted uh, NFTs uh, as such as an investment uh, methodology, as an investment uh, piece. People are fractionalizing NFTs. Imagine you own a uh, vintage car and you're not willing to give it away. And you can fractionalize that and you can actually make 100 people own that vintage car, right? So there are so many plenty of uh, utilities, plenty of ways where NFTs are gonna stay. NFTs, in my opinion, NFTs are gonna stay and uh, if you revisit this conversation probably in the next five years or six years, you will thank Bitscrunch and you will also thank Vijay because we are doing uh, one of the uh, much needed infrastructure project for NFTs, uh, more like a security layer. And yeah, with that, I, I close this as we are also running out of time. Thanks. Uh, any questions? I think we'll skip the question for the ah, time yeah. being. You can take it one-on-one, -on -one, please, because we are running very short of time. Yeah, uh, well, I'll, I'll take questions. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much, Vijay.